course. Of course the clouds are gonna come and cover everything. <sighs> hey y'all, it's Allie. It's time for another q and A. I am still, I still have my questions that y'all had asked me back in July. <laughs> I think it was maybe, when was this? When was that? that, that? According to this paper, it was one week ago, but that's not true. It's like, it was a long time ago. So anyway, I had basically categorized them and actually I filmed this video already, but because the lighting was so bad, it would be like sunny and cloudy and dark and sunny. And oh my gosh, is it getting crazy light out? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's like the really coming out now. Hold on, that planner, O-M-G. Hold on, I'm about to cry. I was literally through the video like with with the lighting um, that I decided not to post that video so that you wouldn't have to see my anger issues with the sun. <laughs> so anyway, it's actually doing the same thing today. I was hoping to go earlier today, but I'm a little more prepared and so I'm hoping to just get through it quickly before it gets really crazy. These are some questions that y'all had asked back when I did a 1,000 subscriber giveaway and it's crazy i am past 2000 now that's incredibly crazy like thank you so much i it's so i don't know what to say just thank you oh do you like my washi tree oh washi tree oh washi tree how lovely are your branches i saw this little tree and i was like i could put washi on it because i have enough i could totally do it but i'm gonna actually keep my little tree over there and grab my washi from my tree because it makes me happy so just thought that'd be fun to be next to my washi tree so um moving right along i have a bunch of stuff on here that i've already done videos for so i will do little those little card things um and they'll be i think i guess on mobile devices they'll kind of be on the side i think so this first question from joy sparkers for hello oh cool she says that i was the one who inspired her to turn her journaling into photo journaling well very cool because i was inspired by someone else and you can inspire somebody else and the gift goes on i love that it's christmas you gotta start singing that song it's awesome so the question though is um which photo printing process do i prefer now that i have been trying that cute selfie after showing us how to print from a standard home printer would you be able to give us a conclusion blah, blah, blah. a conclusion video about the process well yes i actually just did um a couple weeks ago uh, Baby's got gas. I just did a conclusion video on the selfie just a couple weeks ago, and honestly, I prefer the selfie. Yeah, I do. I have not used my other printer, partly because I don't have ink, but I am gonna be starting Project Life up here again. That's one of my goals. Anything bigger than a four by six, I will do on my home printer, but honestly, just the selfie is just awesome. So that video is there, and I do prefer a selfie. So that's that one. Maria. Toftaland, how do you say this? G-J-E-R-D-E. -E. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I would love to hear about how your YouTube journey, oh, like how it all started, basically. Actually, we have also Vanessa Jones asked what got you started making these videos. And uh, also Securani93, what got you into paper crafts and Midori? Oh, that's journal start, that's not YouTube start, my bad. Okay, hello, thank you for asking. Um, the YouTube start happened when I posted a video on One Book July. I had seen, I joined, you know, the Chic Sparrow fan page over on Facebook. It's a great, awesome community over there. Chic Sparrow is like my favorite traveler's notebook ever and I don't plan on getting any more. Like, I don't plan on it. Like, I have pretty much everything that I want unless I just get like, you know, vain and want like different colors and whatever if she comes out with something else. But anywho, I basically just posted a one book July video cause I wanted to try it. And I was like, oh, I can do a little video cause I saw everyone else's videos. And I'm like, that looks like fine. Like I want to try to do a video and I did it. And I got like a lot of good responses from y'all, like you all y'all basically were asking me to continue to do it they you said please keep posting videos and so it's because of you i started with just a one book july video and then it just kept going 
because y'all wanted me to, so I did. And it's fun, I like doing it. I love the whole process of filming and editing other than when the sun's gone crazy. Oh my gosh, it's like the really coming out now. Hold on, like this, I don't like that at all. <laughs> but anyway, that's why I got started, it's from One Book July. Sakurani 93 and Unorthodox Mama um, both asked kind of the same question. Um, what got you into paper crafts and Midori? How did you get started into art journaling and the Traveler's Notebook? <clears throat> paper crafts, I have been a paper crafter forever. Like I have, um, there was an old movie that had a deer in it. It was an old movie. It had a deer, baby deer. And in that movie, it was like this old fashioned scrapbook and they would have these little kind of like ephemera kind of stuff, like just little, um, what do they call those things? Die cuts. They had die cuts and this person was scrapbooking all this stuff, like a blue ribbon from the fair. And ever since that was like when I was little, 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 ever since that I was like, oh, paper crafts, this is my, my jam, I have to do this. So I've been kind of into it forever and the, the photography was in it for a while too. And so even when I was younger, like I was like 17, 18, I was scrapbooking when I was a teenager because, and I made a scrapbook, I had this scrapbook of my husband and I when we were dating and oh my gosh. <laughs> It was bad. I've been journaling forever too. So it just kind of felt natural to marry those two. And I have a whole video on um, how that marriage happened and all that story. And I'll do the card thing and, and I'll link that. Kimberly Howard, she congrats me for a thousand at the time. Thank you. And I hope and pray you keep going. You are just so comfortable and real. Thank you. It's so much fun. Her question was, so how do you find the time to journal? She homeschools too. Here's the deal. You have to make time to journal. If I, I don't know if this class is still available, but I always, always, always tell people about Alicia Kane and her time management class. I've taken it twice. That, oh my God, her, her advice, her wisdom, her basically slapping you in the face and saying, hey, you gotta take responsibility for the decisions that you're making with your time. Nobody else can take responsibility except for you. And she like said that in one of her things that I read, I was like, oh, Oh God, you're right. Cause I, I will, I'll watch YouTube. I'll binge on YouTube or I will pop in a DVD and watch a movie or have a movie marathon or whatever at the time. And so I was just not managing my time well at all. I make the time to journal. So I try to get quiet and decompress that way. It's actually something I really look forward to now. I tell my family, I'm like, Hey, I need to go journal. I need to kind of do my thing and they leave me alone. They understand that's like my way of just kind of, <sighs> I also feel like too, it's a thing of if you, uh, self-worth, like you have to really believe that you're worth taking that time and making that time. So like if people do take that time for themselves and make that time for themselves, it really just speaks of you feel that you're worth that. You know, it's okay. It's okay to have a little bit of journal time. It's okay. I encourage everybody just to try to find and make the time because I have extremely busy schedule, extremely busy, but I can still make time for that. So it's important to me. You, you make time for what you value. Think about that. Anyway, that's how. Uh, heaven, heaven. Oh, I love that name. Heaven V, congrats on the subs. Thank you. My question is, are you okay with people you know going through your journals? I feel like I'm so private about mine. You know, um, there used to be a little, you know, Dear Diary locket lock thing. I had a Lisa Frank one that had like a lock on it, whatever. I mean, you could just like pop those open, no big deal. Honestly, I am such an open person. I am so open, I am transparent. Even if people, which I'm, maybe they do, I don't know, if they push pause and read about my life, like honestly, I don't care because all I ask is for people to ask me if they have a problem with something they're reading, if they have a problem, just ask me about it. You know, let's process it out together. I don't really care about people going through my journals, honestly. I don't, I just don't. People don't go through my journals. But again, if someone were like, why did you write about this about your husband? Because that's how I felt. <laughs> and we're over it now, we worked through it. And I think it just shows the human nature of people and that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to not be perfect <laughs> because I am not, I think because I know I'm not perfect, I'm okay with like, whatever, just, I don't care. So I don't have that issue. I'm not, I'm not uber, uber private. Uh, I am private in like, as far as my time, I try to keep my time uh, protected and stuff. But like, as far as like, 
if you get to know me, I'm, I try my best to be open and honest and vulnerable and I'm a hugger, like I'll hug you if I meet you. So if we do ever meet and greet or whatever, I would love to hug your necks because I like that. Hopefully it's not creepy. I have a bunch here for like Jenny R. Um, top five must have supplies. Oh, she also asked, how do you find time to journal? I already said that. Top five must supplies, core teas. If you had to choose just five supplies, not counting inserts to use in your Midori, what would you use? A Tiffy W. I would love to know if you could go over your top five favorite things to use in your journal and maybe five things that didn't work out that you learned from. Um, the five things, actually, I just did, I, well, I didn't just do. I did a video on it and I'll plug that in. But real quick, it's my Distress Stains Washi Tape. My, dy my dynamo. <laughs> I kept calling it a dynamo. It's a dynamo or a dyno <laughs> label maker. I call it my dynamo. I don't care. I'm going to call it dynamo. My label maker, any sort of like number calendar stamps, and my tiny attacher staples. I think that was what I said. But anyway, I have a video that I can attach that to. Do you have, Hannah was like, do you have a favorite item of stationery or pen? Um, okay, so my favorite pen in the entire universe is my Pilot Falcon. Soft, uh, it's like a soft fine nib. Oh, I love that pen. I saved up for it and I bought it and I suggest everyone just don't go through all the pens that I went through. Just get the Pilot Falcon, just do it. And she had a faith question on here too, which I think I'm gonna save for my faith one. I'll do that later, I'll do that later. And as far as five things that didn't work out so well, honestly, shoot that I learned from. There's only so much just so and what stuff you can do without drying in between before going through a page. <laughs> I don't know anything else. I'll, I just try to make things work and if they don't work, I don't know which ones didn't work. Dude, that one's a hard one. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I must move on. And if I can remember, I will let you know later. Hmm. Okay. Beth Jones asks a planning question. I really enjoy watching your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I inspired you to buy your first Sheik's Sparrow. Oh, and you love it. Yay. Okay, cool. Her question is, do you use any certain inserts for planning? Yes, I use, um, right now I just bought Frazzizzle, Frazzizzle, and I bought her month, sorry, yeah, month on two page insert because I was fine. I was using the DIY fish. I have a whole nother video about Mr. Darcy's fall setup and I'm really loving that setup other than I'm not able to forward plan as well. I've missed a couple appointments because I forgot to like forward them or whatever. Let me just make sure this is still recording. Yeah, so I, I bought her insert. I love it. I love the colors. The paper is a nice quality. Um, my husband was like, actually, I want this instead of the fish one because the fish one overwhelms him. He's just, just give me that one because someone else had bought it and showed it to me in person. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. So I bought hers. I will link her shop uh, below, but I love her month on two pages. And so I use that for floor planning and I use the DIY, DIY fish, the week on two pages, and I basically Frankensteined them. But they, she has a new one now. It's like editable editable layers I think for her new ones that I'm really interested in trying out if y'all have used them and like them please let me know because I I would love to kind of look at those um, and then the other one that I love 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 is growing up goddess it looks like a Havanichi kind of thing where it's got the blank thing and you circle the date you circle the month you circle the day and then it's got the time down the middle I love that one for like time tracking and for like my to-dos, daily to-dos, like if I have a crazy day, I use that every time I have a crazy day and do the, who do, do my day. So that's my, my favorite inserts. There's another planner question from Lauren P. I was curious about whether or not you kept a planner. Yes, I do, there's no way. I've just posted Instagram, planners, timers, and alarms are the only ways that I can function without totally ADD everywhere. So, um, and if so, how do you set it up? I will have that video um, linked or the card thing. I would love to know how you stay on top of it all. Seriously, my planner, timers, and alarms. <laughs> that is the only way. Oh, and uh, my time with the Lord. Like if I don't have my quiet time or meditation time, it's just like my brain is just not there. So anyway, yes. 
Thank you for your question. My question is from Vicki Buckley. What inspires you to do your art journal? I'll say same thing with Bumblebee, Bumbles and Fairy Tales. What inspires you to do your art journal? Um, Laura Prestwich asks, what drives your creativity? What inspires you? Honestly, just, just my life, like life inspires me. Just, I have on Mr. Darcy on my inscription, it says slow to see. What that means to me is just kind of like slowing down and just taking in what's around you. We can get so busy. We can get so busy just going, 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 or planning, 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 or sticker, sticker, stickers, or whatever. And we could totally miss like something that our son's doing or something that she just started doing or that look that she's doing right now that she won't do again. Like, you know, just not taking the time. If you haven't read this book, 1000 Gifts, I would highly recommend that book. It's just a, a book about being grateful and slowing, slowing to see what's around you. That is my inspiration. It's just, I get it from slowing down and then taking it in and then kind of saying it back in a way, in my own way. I keep hitting my washi tree. That's okay. It's like we're dancing. Yeah, just life in general inspires me. I am inspired by a few artists. Um, I was definitely, absolutely, 100% inspired by Courtney at The Little Ink to start this type of journaling with a traveler's notebook. Um, I've always loved paper crafts. I've always loved journaling. I've always loved photography. I've been a professional photographer for nine years, so photos have always been very important to me. Like, she inspired me to kind of marry those two. Um, I was kind of on my way in doing it with the Project Life with Allie Edwards. So she, Allie Edwards, uh, Courtney Diaz at The Little Ink, Jane Davenport is inspiring me to get with the art, like to start doing the art stuff. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. I love her. So that's kind of that, my life, and then some of those people were inspirations. And I'll try to link all them too. Found and made. Hello. I love her dreads. She's got really cool dreads. Any plans on getting a journaling Bible? No. <laughs> because I don't have time. I don't, I cannot make the time for it. It's just, I am so intrigued by it and I want to do it really, really bad, but I just know myself enough that I wouldn't stay, like I wouldn't keep up with it. So I probably shouldn't do that. So no, I'm not getting a journal Bible, even though um, within my lens, I think it's what it's called, within my lens over on IG, check her out, go follow her. She has the most gorgeous journaling Bible pages. I love them. I don't ever feel bad about like writing in those types of Bibles either because honestly, my Bible is like my love letter from Jesus. And so it's like I'm highlighting his love to me and I don't, I don't think he gets mad at me for marking up um, in a loving, he knows my heart. Like I'm not like, and I think those people who do those journaling, I mean, they're not marking up and in a, in a disrespectful way. I feel like they're just like kind of just soaking in a word and meditating on a part of scripture and just making it pop off the page like it did to them because that's how the word is for them. Something just popped off the page because it's alive and it's, you know, they're just kind of like showing what they saw. So that's how I feel about the journaling Bible community. I love you guys. I love y'all. I love y'all. I have no problem with the journaling Bible, but I just, I can't do it right now. But L. Kess asks, do you keep a spiritual or prayer journal in a fedora setup? Yes, I do. Uh, Debbie S. asks the same thing. Do you keep a prayer journal? What are your feelings on an art prayer journal? I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have uh, the first hand-tooled sparrow that Jennifer Harvey ever did was a gift to me for my birthday. And I love it. It's like one of my favorite uh, journals ever. I'm gonna actually do a setup video about it because um, that one, when I have, I call it my Jesus dates. When I get in my room and the boys know, like all the boys, like leave mama alone for a second. I'm gonna have some quiet meditation time. I go in here, I plop on my bed, I've got my guitar, I've got my, my journal, I've got my Bible obviously, and I've got my pen. And I'm just like, oh, like, okay, God, let's do this. What do you wanna say? All right, whatever, whatever. Like I really try to listen, but like I write a bunch of stuff in there. There's a bunch of stuff. It's really cool. I love it. Um, it's just like a priceless possession to me. Which brings this next question. It's really hard from um, Gabrielle Bray. Why'd you have to ask this, Bray? <laughs> She's my art swap pen pal gal. And um, if you have to pick only one of your TNs, which would it be? For real? Why'd you have to ask me that? I can't. It's like choosing children. You can't do that. I could not 
who is it, Tori Prophetess Mother on um, YouTube, she said, I would hope that there was a, a big old mattress at the bottom of a cliff if someone said, pick a journal or jump. Because <laughs> I would just jump. Because I, it's the same with me. I have my lovey, which everybody, I love my lovey. And Mr. Darcy, they have, it's like children. I love them all. They have different purposes, different functions, and different giftings. You know, so like I have my prayer journal, which is that that's a sweet thing for me. But Lovey, he helps me decompress. But Mr. Darcy's my, my handsome taskmaster. So I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I won't do it. <laughs> I'm jumping. So I think, I thought there were some more questions, but I'm not, I'm not seeing them. So that's what I have for now. Oh, someone just sneezed in the other room. That was funny. I hope you all enjoyed that little answer time to your questions and uh, I have actually more and I'll put it in a later video. Thank you so much for all your questions. I love sharing again. I'm an open book. I love sharing with y'all. Try to do washi tree. This is really cool. You can get these trees like super cheap. This is kind of fun. I like it. I'm gonna take a picture of it I think. Okay, bye. Where I am a professional talk. I've been a for been a protect <sighs>